Hello everybody, Lord Ralph here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Adventure Bundle on the Fallout 4 Creation Club. Now, this bundle consists of the Captain Cosmo's Power Armor and the Tunnel Snake's Rule, um, I think Gun and Outfit Pack, I'm not very sure. Now, as you can see here, the bundle is worth 1200 credits put together, but I believe, I think I bought it for 600. Now, we're going to be reviewing the um, power armor and the gun and the outfit and see if it is really worth it. So we're going to be uh, loading into the game and see what we need to do. Okay, so upon loading in, we get these two quest markers, the Captain Cosmos and the Tunnel Snakes Rule. Now, we're going to be doing the Tunnel Snakes Rule first and then we'll be doing the Captain Cosmos because I believe that one is in Nuka World so we're gonna have to go very very far so let's see what this radio does now uh, just listening onto the radio signal uh, there's not really anything that you can hear it's just mainly just really really low breathing and it says locate origin of faint radio signal so we're gonna have to see where we need to go Okay, so it says that we need to go to the Chestnut Hillock Reservoir. So let's fast travel over there. Okay, now upon spawning in, we appear... Well, well I mean, it appears that we need to go, I think, into a train station, if I believe. Yes, into a train station, so let's go and see. Now, a little bit of backstory, if you guys don't know who the Tunnel Snakes are. The Tunnel Snakes were like a little gang consisting of three people in Fallout 3 and uh, Fallout 3's uh, Vault 101. Um, I think it consisted of a guy called Butch, Wally, and another person. Butch was kind of like your like enemy in the vault when you're growing up. So I think in this um, creation club pack, uh, you get the outfit and the Fallout 3 pistol, if I remember correctly. I'm not very sure what it said. Okay, now upon exploring the vault, we see a lot of rad roaches. Not really any consistent villains oh there is a ghoul there let's go and see what he's got on him so as you can see he has a tunnel snake outfit and his name is just tunnel snake okay we'll take that now at the end of the this pack we're gonna go and see what we can put on the armor and see like what it consists of and stuff and oh excuse me and stuff like that Okay, so we've just located the faint radio signal. Uh, there's not really anyone here. Oh, and there it is. A classic 10mm pistol. Let's see what this looks like. Wow, this is actually really, really nice. It looks exactly like the pistol as well. Now, it has a damage of 56, a fire rate of 41, a range of 179, accuracy of 62, and his weight is 4.9, and his value is at 53 caps. So let's see how this fires, let's see how this sounds. Oh, my game has lagged a little bit. Okay, let's see how this sounds. Okay, it sounds very, very different as well. Let's see if it reloads differently. Okay, it reloads the exact same as a normal 10mm pistol, but very, very nice. Oh, little graffiti. Now, in this actual um, railway tunnel, the, the door that we entered was not actually... Uh, you actually couldn't enter it in the base game before getting this uh, Creation Club pack, so it's very, very different. So let's see what else there is. Um, wow, very, very powerful as well. Okay, wow. Uh, what the hell has happened here? Okay, now there are lots of ghouls here. But luckily, this pistol is very, very powerful. Wait, that's Wally Mac. Um, okay, okay. Uh, he appears to be quite powerful. Uh oh. Oh Jesus. Okay, Wally is dead. Wally is dead. Let's go see what he's got on him. Wow, a very, very nice 
Um, P2, I think it's called a P260 pistol. And it says, if I can read that, be not afraid of any beast, no matter what the size, where danger threatens, wield me, and I shall see to its demise. Now it does 50 points of radiation damage. So this is a very, very, oh, wrong pistol. So this is a very, very nice pistol. Now it has the exact same ammo. All, all these pistols have the exact same ammo as a normal 10mm pistol, but in a very, very different design. Okay, now this isn't actually the end of the pack. Well, it says it's been complete, but there, I believe, I think is more to it. It said Wally's footlocker key, so let's try and find that. Okay, let's try and find the footlocker. Okay, we've just found his foot locker. Let's see what's in here. Okay, just average things. Uh, 198 bottle caps and another tunnel snakes outfit. Now, I believe with the tunnel snakes outfit, there is a. I don't know if this is in the regular game, but there's like a little water symbol. I'm not actually. Sh I actually can't remember what that does. I think it's something to do with a different damage resistant, or maybe it's new. I can't really remember. So I think that's pretty much everything in the tunnel, as we can see. Uh, there's more uh, tunnel snakes graffiti uh, coming through here. Oh, there's a uh, little thing. Let's go and see what uh, is in here. Okay, we just hacked it. Let's see. I think I, I think I believe in this uh, place. It's just normal ammo and right away in hills. Uh, let's see. Is that unique? Nope. So I believe the only unique items that are here is the Tunnel Snakes outfit, the uh, classic, I, th I think it's called a classic 10mm pistol, and uh, a uh, and, and the Ultimatum pistol, I think that's what it's called. Okay, and this leads just back to the entrance. Okay, so this is the end of the Tunnel Snakes pack. Let's go and see what the Captain Cosmos has. Okay, now the Captain Cosmos starts off as like a normal mission, but it says we need to find the Captain Cosmos delivery, which is just, I believe, north of the Super Duper Mart and the and uh, Lexington. So let's go and see what uh, this is all about. Okay, we just spawned outside the Super Duper Mart, and the quest marker is actually pretty close. So let's go and see where this is. Okay, no enemies. There seems to be a Foot Locker. Hubris delivery locations, Hubris TV studio keys, Jangles the Moon Monkey, and a Captain Cosmos toy box, which I believe is completely new to the game. Okay, let's see what Chris Marcus says now. Read the Hubris delivery holotape. Okay. Sorry, I have lots and lots of things. This is my main character. Where is it? Oh. Up here. Sorry about this. Here it is, okay, uh, here it is. From Bud Walsh to Jimmy Hayes, date October 23rd, 2077. So the days the bombs dropped. Jimmy, here's a list of today's delivery locations from the Captain Cosmos Toys, but please go over to the Hubris TV Studios a Hub 360 first. They're about to wrap up the big season finale episode and need them for the wrap party tonight. It sounds like they're going to load up the redemption machines for some sort of raffle. The receptionist said they're using some high-tech space gear from the United States Space Administration. I ask her to let you in to get a sneak peek, but make it quick, you're on the clock. Hubris Television Studios, Hubris Comics, General Thomas Galleria, and the WRVR Broadcast Station. Okay, investigate Hubris TV Studios. Uh, I think we need to wait for it to load in. There we go. So we need to go near Mass Bay Medical Center. Okay, we've just made our way here. Apologize that the game is so laggy. It seems to get very, very bad around the spot, so let's just go in. Okay, upon loading in, this must be a super mutant stronghold, as there's lots of those weird meat bags, whatever the hell they are, around here. Um, there isn't upstairs, but I don't think there's really anything up here other than an elevator. So let's go and enter the uh, actual door. Okay, now I believe, since looking at this area, I believe that it is not in Nuka World where the Captain Cosmos thing is. Uh, it must be in some place totally different. Oh, and there's some 
I believe, unique magazines, which you can't pick up, which is a bit annoying. Okay, let's read what the reception terminal says. <clears throat> USSA Equipment Delivery. Hey Darcy, General Tucker from the United States Air Force and a team from the United States Space Administration are going to be delivering some very special equipment for the Captain Cosmos season finale this week. Please give them production and studio floor access ID cards when they arrive and let the special effects team know they're going to be working with some technicians from the USSA. Also, please make sure the Captain Cosmos Redemption Machine has been loaded with prices for the rat pie. Here's a list of the, de of the delivery contents. Captain Cosmos com, uh, Cosmic Cannon, the new Captain Cosmos spacesuits, the CCOO power armor sets. Again, don't forget to load up the vending machine. You're the best, Roy. And I believe that these are just uh, normal letters. They don't really have anything uh, to them. Okay, so... Uh, I believe we have to look for all of the equipment. Use a redemption machine. Redeem your Captain Cosmos toy box here for special prizes. Oh, okay. Okay. So we need 15 boxes to get the power armor piece. And we need 20 boxes to get the spacesuit and another 20 boxes to get the cosmic cannon. <sighs> okay, it's going to be a lot of work. Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, let's kill that one. Oh, Jesus. My aim is so bad in this game. I believe that this is very, very unique. This looks very, very cool. I'll take that. Now, I'm not sure how to... Oh, I'm not sure how to get the boxes. It hasn't really said, so I might just look around and see what I need to find. Okay, legendary unique ghoul. We've got an auto-stim welded radio left leg. I believe that's just uh, average loot. And here is the cosmic cannon rifle. It does a damage of 32, a fire rate of 90, range of 77, and accuracy of 72, and its weight is 5.5 .5 and its value is at 95 caps, and it uses normal fusion cells. So let's see how this is uh, used. Okay, uh, where is it? Here it is. Let's see how this fires. Uh, is this really how it fires? Just smoke? I'm not sure if this actually does do damage, and I think I have to look around to see if it does uh, do damage itself. Uh, but it says we need to find the two next pieces, uh, so we're going to go and see what those are. Okay, so it appears that uh, it's not actually smoke, it's actually ice, I believe. I was wrong before. Okay, so upon entering, uh, there is a lot of doors, most of them are broken. There is a on the air, but I need an ID card for it. Let's see if it might be in here. Okay, let's see. Uh, I believe this is just where they must have like recorded it or something. Uh, there's not really anything in here other than alcohol and uh, oh, and a goal. Okay, the weapon does do a, uh, does do a lot of damage, so that is one thing. Oh. Got it first try. Okay, I believe I just opened the door. Okay, I, I don't know which door I opened. I think I must have opened that. Let's go see. It says I need to go through here, so let's see what's through here. Oh, uh, before we enter that, let's just check. This must be a cinema room. No. Oh, oh we've got the ID card. Okay, well, before we um, enter that, let's go and see if I can open up this. Oh, it did open the building. Oh, accidentally closed it. Oh. Let's go see what's through here. Okay, this is just the film set. We'll go through there in a minute. Oh, Jesus Christ. Now, the one thing that I don't really like about this gun is that it uses ammo quickly. Which is quite bad, but I guess it's cool because it does a lot of damage. I mean, I guess when it's fully upgraded, but we're going to go see how it's fully upgraded when we uh, complete these packs. Oh, and here's the spacesuit. It increases jump height and prevents falling damage. Okay, uh, now I'm going to be showing what all of the armor and the gun sets look um, like fully upgraded uh, when I complete the pack. But for now, let's go and get the power armor. Okay, it appears that 
we are in a massive warehouse, but it says film set, so we must be in a film house, but it looks like a big warehouse. I mean, film set, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Anything in here? Paint cans, gas mask. More uh, ghouls. It appears there's only just ghouls in here. Fusion core. Okay, this is the kitchen. A lot of radiation. Oh. Okay, and there is the power armor for. Let's equip the cannon rifle. Oh, game glitching again. Sorry, th this this is my main character, so I've done a lot of stuff. Okay, another um, figurine. More first aid. Oh, and a Hollywood star thing. Jangles the Moon Monkey. This looks like some sort of play area. Uh, just t-shirt and snacks. Okay, now here is the power armor we have been looking for. So it already comes with a jetpack. And since it's its own power armor set, um, we're going to be seeing if it's more powerful than other power armor sets. And occasional stuff like that. Oh, Rod Stoddard. I do not know who this guy is. He probably played as him. This is my power armor now. Okay, it appears that vats don't really do a lot. <laughs> and he just has an average chess piece. Okay, let's enter this power armor then. Now, I think its jetpack is completely unique on its own upon looking at it. Uh, it pretty much just looks like a massive spacesuit. So let's see how this is. Okay, now we need to find the emergency exit. Okay. Um, as usual, it's pretty much just a normal power armor, but I believe, uh, uh, oh god, oh god, what do I believe in? Oh, I can't remember now. Anyway, we need to find the emergency exit, so let's go and find that. Uh, since we have the jetpack, we might be able to get up here quickly. Oh! There's another power armor set. Um, is this a glitch, or... I thought there was only one. Okay, well, let's take it all anyway. Okay, well now we need to find the um, exit. Oh, Jesus Christ, more ghouls. Um, I think the one thing about this pack that I don't really like is just there's not really any unique enemies. It's mainly just ghouls with names. And, I mean, yeah, it's quite good for legendary loot, but there's just not really a lot to this pack. Um, anyway, let, let's try and uh, get out of here. Okay, now I believe we've completed the uh, mission. All for a lousy 200 XP. Um, another thing about this machine, it said something about boxes. I'm not really sure. I think it means the actual figurine box or something like that. But we've already got the figurine. We've already got two of them. And there's also a mystery prize. So there's not really a lot, um... I guess if you get loads of them, you can get your own power armor pieces and spacesuits. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to this building. So let's go back to my home base and see what upgrades we can put on all the uh, equipment. Okay, so we are at my home base at Nordhagen Beach. Uh, now, as you can already see, I have the Hellfire power armor, which is actually one of the most powerful armor sets in the game, but we're going to be seeing if the um, Captain Cosmo's power armor has got the best. So, let's uh, see. Now, we just need to... Okay, I think... Need to repair mostly everything. Okay. Everything... Oh. Okay. So, as we can see, uh, the health on the torso is actually more powerful than the Hellfire. Um, there is lots and lots of um, different uh, power armor sets that you can put on as well, such as Chrome, Arcjet, Enclave, lot, lots of stuff like that, but I'm going to be keeping with the um, uh, normal one. Uh, the jetpack itself is completely unique to the power armor. Uh, the helmet, I believe, uh, just has mostly the same. I'm not really going to put on any upgrades. I'm only going to put on upgrades that increase the health, which not a lot really do. 
uh, well, b because they're all Model F, that that's as uh, high as they can go. So as we can see, uh, the only most powerful thing on this is the torso itself, which is more powerful than the Hellfire. But the Hellfire has got um, more powerful arms and legs than the helmet. So to be honest, the Hellfire is much better. But if you like the Captain Cosmos, that's with you. I like it as well. But if I were to go with different power armor to use mainly, I'd probably use the Hellfire. Now, you can only get the Hellfire with the Creation Club as well. So, yeah. So, let's go and upgrade the Captain Cosmos weapon, the Cryo Cosmic Cannon Rifle. So, let's see how much... Uh, let's see how powerful it can go. Reflex sights. Okay. So... Damage, it does 30 with a damage of 88 uh, with, um, uh, I believe, uh, energy, sorry. Um, you can put, you can't really put on a lot of upgrades, mainly just normal ones. You can put on any other energy rifle. Uh, oh, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Uh, with the full stock, and there's a wood full stock, um, it doesn't really do a lot of stuff. Uh, it's mainly just the same rifle, except it just changes its range and accuracy. Okay, now, that is the Captain Cosmos weapons and armor. Let's go and see what the uh, tunnel snakes can do. So, let's just, so let's see if we can put any um, armor on it. So, we can put Ballistic Weave. That is a good thing. Always want Ballistic Weave. So now we have 112 damage resistant and 110 energy resistant. Okay. Oh, wait, I just forgot. There's the uh, Captain Cosmos spacesuit. Uh, as we can see, we can put on really any material. I'm just going to stick with the main ones. We can put on moon boots. It prevents falling damage and increases jump height and ballistic wave. Okay. Okay, now we can upgrade the classic 10mm pistol and the unique one so let's see what this looks like fully upgraded survivors grip large quick eject mag uh, we're just going to put on the uh, re reflex sight and a suppressor so we can put on pretty much normal upgrades just like any other 10 millimeter pistol except very very different so now let's look at the ultimatum now this is much more powerful uh, just put on oh we can't put on different barrels has its own okay survivor's grip uh, large quick eject mag glow sights and suppressor okay so uh, let's see how different they sound now they're pretty much going to sound the same so let's just get the ultimatum since they're both the exact same pistol I mean not the ultimate in the uh, other one very very sorry bloody auto saving okay it sounds very very different it can hold 24 bullets just like an average one uh, let's see if the ultimatum sounds different pretty much sounds the exact same except it has a little uh, nuclear sight on it which is pretty cool okay now let's see what the um, armor looks like uh, tunnel snakes which one is upgraded this one oh yeah I forgot I need to take off my backpack sorry about that Okay, um, outfit looks the exact same without ballistic weave. Um, looks very, very nice. Um, it's pretty much the exact same outfit from um, Fallout 3, except uh, in because there's different jumpsuits in Fallout, this is just the Fallout 3 one. Uh, wait, let's see if it looks different with the average tunnel snakes. Nope, exactly the same. Okay, let's see what the... Um, Captain Cosmos looks like. Let's see, where is it? Uh, if I can find it, sorry about this. My god, it's actually not here. Where is it? Oh my god, wait, where's it gone? Hold on. It was right here. I'm very, very dumb. So it says it increases jump height and reduces full damage. So let's see how high we can jump. Okay, we can jump very, very high. Uh, I, I can't run because I've got too much stuff on me, but yeah, we can jump quite high. Uh, it says it also reduces full damage. Now, now this building, whenever I jump off, I do take full damage. Let's see if uh, we don't take any. 
Just jump up here. Okay, let's see. Okay, we don't. That is good. Uh, the outfit... <laughs> it's not really an outfit you would wear. Let's see if we can wear armor with it. No, we cannot wear armor with it. Um... The good thing about this outfit is that it can have ballistic weave, which is very, very good. Um, it just wouldn't really be an outfit you would wear. It just looks a bit, just looks a bit dumb. <laughs> anyway, that is the Captain Cosmos and the Tunnel Snakes creation kit. Um, final thoughts: If you would like to buy this or not. Um, yeah, I think if you would like to buy it, you should. Um, you get two. You you get two of your own. Uh, you get two personal quests. Um, you don't. It doesn't just spawn in your inventory. You get a power armor. You get new guns. Um, and pretty much, it's just a very very cool um, thing overall. So yeah, uh, I'd like to thank you guys all for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.